Well guys, we're not over there today. We're on this side of the rest area in the home. We're gonna go see if we can find a cash truck. It's supposed to work today. Uh, long story short, um, some mismanagement with some stuff, you know, good old FedEx. Um, yeah, it's shaky. I'm sorry it's so shaky. I'm shaky, I'm real caffeinated. Going uh, three and a half hours, go look at a truck. Let's hope, let's hope and pray guys. I'll take you with me, here we go. All right, I'm here and it's weird. Just gonna show you real quick, there it is. Woo, guys, I'm tired. So, uh, I did 600, hey, yeah. Um, so about that, that, um, <laughs> red freight liner, I'm gonna show you. Stay tuned. All right, so I apologize about this silly freaking portrait mode, but it is what it is, right? So this is the one I went and looked at. Um, all those tires are bad. Um, the APU doesn't work, and I don't know, I think it's just there for looks, honestly. Um, I couldn't even find a controller inside for it. Yeah, that, no worky. Um, there's steer tires on it too. Um, most of those tires are off the rim, like, you know what I mean, off the bead. Still, with that being said, you know, that's, we can bargain, you know what I mean. Um, I didn't hear any air leaking or anything like that. I didn't see any leaks from the engine. The engine's super clean. Oil was changed already. They've done the clutch. Um, here's the thing. He started it and it started running crappy. And the light came on. He's like, well, it needs injectors. Like, man, I come all the way up here. I drove three and a half hours one way to look at this truck after clearing up everything. I told him I wanted a truck that was ready to go. And then, so he's real cool about it and come to find out that it's just, it's like that because um, he thought they had already fixed it. And you notice it's not running right here either, so you don't see the check engine light on. If you're going to sell a freaking vehicle, please show it idling and show any alarms. But still, um, it's been rebuilt. He's got the paperwork for that, supposedly. Uh, clean title and everything. He's going to put the uh, things on, um, the injectors. He's going to have them finish it in 7 to 10 days, he said. Um, there was no blow-by whatsoever. I don't know. I just... I, if he could put the tires on there, I'd give him, if we get it running good and he puts tires on there, I might give him, you know, 30 for it. Maybe a little more. I don't know. It just, um, yeah, I got kind of burnt and he said he felt bad that I come all the way up there. He, I guess he thought it was done. I don't know. I don't know how you wouldn't know that, but maybe. So that's the story on that. Um, a couple other trucks I'm looking at, uh, give me a minute. So there's this one here. I tried to talk him out, uh, talk this guy down. Um, as you can see, it's kind of rough in spots. Um, it looks like it's sitting in a junkyard. Don't think nothing of it. Um, it's just where he parks it. You know what I'm saying? And you can tell, like, see, like, you know, the trees in the background. This is These are old pictures, right? That's an old picture. But there it is again with different cars. Okay. You know what I mean? So he's been pulling those in the snow. Um, it's a sharp truck. If it, you know, cleans up, polish it up a little bit. He wants 45 for the truck and 45 for the trailer. I just want the truck. I, I almost had him talk down below 40, which none of y'all know, but I can't, you know, 40's, 40's definitely pushing it a little too much. So here it is here. It's a uh, 2003. It's got the 14 liter. I mean, whatever, I guess. Uh, probably a gas hog. Well, hopefully not gas, but it has a built-in PTO. Um, that's not what I want, but... 889,000 miles. I don't know. Looks like a good deal. Let's see. All right, we'll just end it here. Here's one I'm going to go look at um, Sunday. I'm going to try to. Um, 2012. I was just noticing how the hood is actually a different shade of white. Okay. Um, from the side back there, it looks like there's an APU. We'll find out. He wants 40 for it. That's a 2012 with 1.1 million miles. He's owned it for six years, which is good. Runs great, only selling because you don't have enough drivers. Got a new clutch, and the lower end has been rebuilt. Which sometimes that's possible. They could be like, hey, we checked the liners, and the liners don't even look scratched. But look up there in the left hand corner. There it is, of course. Check engine light. Uh, 
could just mean it was a bad delete or something worse is going on and that's why he's getting rid of it. But definitely not for 40. Um, here's my list <laughs> of ones. Oh, okay. I keep going to this one and you guys, if you've watched this far, please comment below on this. Um, this is a Columbia. I've drove Columbias before and they're good trucks. You know, this one's got the 12, seven liter. I mean, it's dirty as crap. You can see that, but yeah, there it looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> looks like my kid got a hold of a marker, you know, and just whooshed it. But I mean, it's a look at the bumpers all there. Um, I think the tires are pretty okay. The inside looks pretty clean as far as the bunk goes. Probably never used. It's just dirty in the front. Uh, it's got the 12 liter. Let's see, is that the 12 liter? Yeah, non-EGR, so I don't know if that means like, you know, paper log or not, but it says it's had an overall 18 firm, guys, I might get that one, what do you think? Comment below, let me know, but I'm out of here.